Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are catching up again with our Venus probe as it is on course with its very uncomfortable meeting with the atmosphere of Venus that will hopefully, hopefully, hopefully turn into a landing, provided our heat shield doesn't fail. Uh, we've got some things programmed in the flight computer to boot this whole thing up once it hits the surface. Well, really they're set to boot in, you know, about four or three and a half hours time. Our encounter with the atmosphere, well, our periapsis is in half an hour. So, we're gonna just ride this in and see how it happens. You know, how much we can do. Alright, that's bringing in our magnetometer. All these RCS thrusters firing like crazy. We do have about 15 liters of hydrazine left. No big deal. We should have no other commands coming up until we hit Atmo, which is not now. Why is... why are we... Venus's Fortuna Sera. wonder if we'll be over that long enough to collect science from it. Five whole minutes. Nope. The answer is nope. I don't think we're getting anything new here. Nope. Not at all. Toggle magnetometer. That's another five minute delay. No big deal. Boom! Atmosphere. Let's <laughs> pop that magnetometer right back out. Upper atmosphere of Venus's lowlands. Atmosphere starts about one... It's actually a little higher than Earth. No big deal. Alright. Heat shield. This is your show now. No connection. So... I can no longer issue commands. Uh, the science that we get will have to be stored until we hit the ground and until we have a connection again. So now, oh god, is that toggle magnetometer gonna go? Tell me that's gonna happen. I guess not. I guess this isn't gonna hit because it wasn't programmed in the flight computer. I wonder if that toggle magnetometer is gonna happen. Oh boy. Well, fingers crossed. This is looking a little unpleasant. It's super hostile down there. Alright. Heat shield is starting to heat up. Oh, goodness. What the hell was that? Okay, it looks like it was just our active antenna. The big one. Uh, our other bootable comms devices are still intact. Oh, crap. That was our landing struts. Ugh. Alright, well, yeah. Thanks magnetometer. I wonder if that heat shield is actually attached. Yeah, it is, because it's giving us stats on it. Thank goodness. The heating effects seem to be slowing down. Man, we're... Yeah, we're losing speed pretty quick. Alright. Hey! That signal did go through. Keep, keep, keep. Keep, 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 definitely. Okay. Now we're starting to get some real work in. Oh man, that G load is skyrocketing. Oh yeah. Well. I guess we'll just keep the heat shield attached and try to land on it. Wow. Looks like we made it. Holy shit, that worked. I cannot believe that worked. Well, it's worked so far. 
I think our thrusters just ran out of fuel. They did. I think we'll have a parachute to snap us into the correct direction. What's our battery life looking like? Oh, we got tons of electric charge. We're good. Oh, super terrified about how our parachutes are going to work out. <laughs> I cannot believe this little antenna survived. And it is activated. 400 kilometer range, so even if the rest of our boot fails, if our, uh, uh, our transfer stage, which I guess was our orbital insertion stage, it didn't do any of the transfer work, as long as that survives and can give us a relay, we should be able to maybe manually boot this thing. Wow, this descent is going to take a very, very long time. I forgot what I set the parachutes for. Even the drogue, I think, was like 4,000. We are at 71,000 and falling at 145 meters per second and slowing. The air here is just super, super thick. Let's uh, see what happens if we warp. We continue to decelerate and just kind of wobble. You know what? I'm okay with this. I just really hope we don't snap a parachute. Although well, coming down with a connection would have been nice. Saying our chute is safe to open. I guess this weird wobbling is causing us to decelerate a little more. It's still at 55 kilometers above sea level. No longer in the upper atmosphere, we're not flying. Uh, 47,000 meters. It's still decelerating, now below 70 meters per second on descent. Although, yeah, sorry, that's gotta be not much better from this up here. Oh, wow. I think this is the first time I've seen another planet with Scatterer installed. Wow. Oh, that's... that is really amazing. I don't want to make that the thumbnail for this one because that kind of gives it away that it worked. How would you know if this was successful unless you made it this far? Super excited. It's 1959 and we're landing things in Venus. Although it is taking absolutely forever. <laughs> Our unabated rate of descent is now 41 meters per second. It's still decelerating. We are at 33 kilometers. These shoots don't pop out for a long time. This is in time warp. This is going to take an unreasonable amount of time. Just saying. Hmm. I kind of wonder if we even need parachutes. I mean, we're still decelerating at about a tenth of a meter per second. Per second. Twenty, you know, roughly twenty-eight kilometers something this small and light, I wonder if just the sheer air pressure is going to be enough to get it to within a tolerable touchdown speed. 
I kind of doubt it though. At some point, the air pressure is going to top out. And we will stop decelerating. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of happening. Nope. Although our rate of deceleration has slowed a bit. Holy crap. <laughs> 24 kilometers high. How much time do we have left on our flight computer boot sequence? Okay, three hours. I don't think it's going to take three hours to hit the ground. You never know. But uh, I'll back up a bit so you guys don't have to deal with all that crazy wobbly of the camera. Actually, I might just take it out of time warp to avoid any complications of things. And maybe I'll just speed this part and post. Uh, we have an overheat warning on our parachute. That's new. Uh, I'm wondering if it's just surface temperature is causing this. It's hot enough here on Venus to cause parts to overheat. That certainly is new. It can't be because we're moving very fast. We are falling at a leisurely 16 and a half meters per second. Altitude now is about 6 kilometers. Uh, you know kind of just waiting for this thing to hit the ground at this point. I've stopped uh, doing stuff, but that heat bar doesn't seem to be rising. I'm really wondering how well these nylon chutes, I thought I set them to Kevlar, but apparently I left them as nylon. I'm wondering how well these nylon chutes are going to deal with this uh, ridiculous atmosphere. So, well, one way to find out. We got about a kilometer before the drogue opens, although... I don't know how much good a drogue shoot's gonna do. <laughs> it might do lots of good, considering this the atmosphere here is so incredibly dense. Well, let's enjoy the wibble wobble. I think our rate of descent has stopped. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Parachute has been destroyed due to overheat. We lost one. Connection to send a redeploy command for our drogue, but I guess it just snapped off. And the toggle info will take five minutes. Although we might still have five minutes of falling. So let's see what happens. No connection to send command on. So I can't even view the stats for my parachutes. That's cool. Although really I'm wondering if we hit the ground, even if we lose everything from this like if we lose this core, the strut and these things, and the heat shield in impact. It's still a successful mission. We still have all of our science, we still have our solar panels, all our comms. All that will still work, because we no longer need avionics to do anything. We actually don't need avionics to do anything right now. Or for the rest of this thing's life. Although, it looks like the ground is coming up here pretty soon. I... I think that sheet shoot snapping was our primary. I could be wrong. And now 16 meters per second feels way too fast. Oh god. Here it comes. Oh! Well. We're still kind of alive. <coughs> I'll take that. I mean, it's got no means... Uh, I guess when that panel opens, it's going to... I hope that one opens first. Maybe it'll push us over. All 
Alright, and where's our little buddy the relay? He's way up there. I don't know if we're actually going to get a connection out of that, but let's see. Can we... Can we get a relay? I guess he's not within 400 kilometers, so... Probably not. Maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? We are overheating. Something on this is overheating. It looks like it's our parachute. If that blows up, it takes our magnetometer with it. That's... Wow. Okay. It is directly overhead and we do not have a connection with it. So we're just going to have to let this four hours ride itself out and watch our boot sequence happen. We'll go ahead and pull up flight computer so we at least have some indication of how long it's going to be. An hour and 44 minutes. I think we're going to lose that parachute. Okay. Panels are extending. I guess that one just shot itself straight into the ground. No big deal. Alright, there's our big antenna. Did not break. Still have no connection. Whoa! -hoo. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, stop, stop, stop! Please don't smash these other two panels. We need them. Okay. Uh, I think they're in the shade. Electric charges, in fact, showing a draw. No connection. So as soon as we have a connection, we can shut down all our very avionics, collect some sciences. I guess we're going to have to wait for our relay to make another pass, I hope. Still nothing, really? So yeah, I guess we still are under the horizon for our relay, which isn't going to do us a whole lot of good. Not even showing a connection to it right now. Or it's not giving us a relay, so it doesn't do anything. But it will eventually have a connection. Will it be before the electric charge runs out? is the question, because these panels... Sun exposure zero... Broken! Of course it's broken. And the ones not facing the sun are not broken. That's given us 7 watts, that's given us... So we got about 10 watts total input. Not great. God damn it, we're just... We're just barely, barely, barely facing the wrong way. Alright, we got a little hydrazine in here. Yeah, of course, not enough to do any real lifting. What in the shit is happening? Yeah, okay. Can we... Why is that avionics not active? Shut down avionics? No connection to send command on. No big deal. Alright, well, we're just going to have to come back to this little guy when the planet is facing... or when this side of the planet is facing Earth. Hmm. Based on that orbital pattern, I am leading. I am beginning to conclude that Venus might be. Yeah, Venus orbits like once a year, doesn't it? I done goofed. Whatever. We got our contract. <laughs> we got paid for what we needed to get paid for. Uh, all right. I'm just. Since this is done hiccuping, I am checking my angle to Earth, which is there. We are there. None chances. This thing has to be here, and I don't think we're getting a relay off of it. And if we are, it's only for several seconds. Anyway, uh, we landed on Venus. That was half victory. Very proud. Thanks for hanging out, guys. That's going to do it for this one. I will see all of you tomorrow.